I'm gonna let 70 seal me and you can see right there boom he takes me and now there's just nothing out here there's no real answer for a play like this because you can go explosive run in either direction I mean this is something where I should get 10 to 15 yards before I get touched any single time I run this for the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff the man. She's always got another offensive scheme for you guys today. Today, I'm going to be going over some run plays out of my favorite playbook in the game, the Baltimore Ravens. This playbook here, I keep finding amazing run plays in this playbook. This is, without a doubt, the best running playbook in the game, and that's not going to change today. I'm going to show you guys some run plays, but I also got some really great pass plays of the exact same information. If you guys want to see more out of this, hit the like button. Let me know in the comments section. As always, the formation is the gun wing slot week. This particular formation, I mean, I've put out plays out of just about every formation that this playbook has to offer at this point. I mean, just about half the gun plays, half the pistol formation plays, uh, I just basically live in this playbook. It's the best playbook in the game, in my opinion, and it's not even close. Uh, the gunwing slot, though, if you guys caught my video last week, I put out some run plays out of the gun Y off trio week. I put out a run play called the, I mean, I put out a full scheme, but I put out one particular run play called the Buck Sweep. I had to find plays like this throughout the entire game this to me is the best run play in the game it's the most overpowered run play in the game and i don't have to go too far because i basically just have to go over a few formations and the baltimore ravens has another version of it which might be even better this particular version i'm going to show you guys today might be even better than that one because it's actually a read option play so you have the option of running with your quarterback you guys my four play audibles like i always do the buck sweep read option is without doubt the best run play in this game in this particular uh playbook it's one of the better runs in the game uh it's very similar to the play that i showed last week but you can actually keep with your quarterback and have very explosive runs also which you didn't have in the other play as far as the halfback base it's one of the best inside runs if they're spreading the line because when you're running wide sweeping looping runs to the left and right like i'm going to show you in this play you're going to get a lot of people that spread the defense that's going to bring up a lot of opportunities for the halfback base and the power read which is also an inside run uh i'm going to show you guys those three run plays today but if you want to see the fourth play and i have i'll have extra plays i'm recording this all now it's going to be on my patreon on my join out community tab all that stuff but i'll have five plays in total two passing plays one of which is the raven double post if you watch my channel you know I like to do. I like to show a pass play that can hit a home run against every single defense in the game. It's an extremely explosive play. Hit the like button if you guys want to see that tomorrow. Now, the fifth play, uh, I have a couple of plays that will probably only be on my Patreon, my Join Out Community tab, but the PA Bubble Over is probably the best pass play uh, that I have left that's not my audibles. Uh, but the best run play since we're doing a running video will be the RPO Zone Peak. So that would be my fifth play. So we're going to pick that on the defensive side. We're just going to pick a random 4 3. Now, as always, this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor, AOEH.com. If you guys want to get your Mutt team up and support this channel, the same time all you have to do is check them out link in the description below and use discount code email don't use discount code money D discount code email is a promotion that running we get six percent off anything on their site by using discount code email right now so if you play that or any of the games that they offer uh products for six percent off use discount code email check that out link in the description below so this play here this is a play where i showed you guys last week it was a power replay all you have to do is hold the a button and for whatever reason these guards do a terrific job of kicking out there that actually wasn't too great of a run block because the guard didn't get a field but you can see i still have a lot of opportunity nine times out of ten i'm going to be holding a and handing to this running back like i said this is something where i pretty much can get outside of this every single time but there's a caveat you could also hold it with quarterback this play is going to be especially dominant against man like right here we have nobody out there now there's one thing that i forgot to mention this is important when it comes to the pass plays always every single time you run this play motion this guy in it's going to help with the run plays too because a lot of times it'll bring the cornerbacks in and stuff like that it's going to help me get outside with the quarterback but you pretty much want to always motion this guy in it's going to make a huge difference when it comes to the scheme as i show you guys the pass play most likely tomorrow uh because that motion in is going to be something that i do every single time when it comes to the pass play so 
out. Like I said, it'll help with the run plays as well if I keep it with the quarterback. Ultimately, though, this is going to be something where I could basically just keep it. You can see right here. I mean, the blocking is great for the quarterback. I should probably run out of bounds if you run with the quarterback. You don't want to end up with getting fumbles and stuff like that. But you can see how easy that is. Now, here we have a really interesting look. This is going to be my best opportunity to keep with the quarterback because you're going to see how these guys are all pretty much in the box. You can see right there. I mean, that guy just didn't commit. There's nothing out here. Anytime you have these type of man commit looks, we have all these guys packed in the box. Keeping with the quarterback is going to be best because they just don't really handle that particularly well. This is probably going to be your best look when it comes to running with the running back because you got a man coverage. You can see there's no real um, outside cornerback on the right side. There's nothing really keeping me from holding it to the running back and basically just spring to the edge. You see the guard there does a great job of sealing. I mean, this is something where I should get 10 to 15 yards before I get touched any single time I run this. Now here we have a real thin line of fence. You can see there's there's nothing really uh, at the second level over the middle. This is a perfect opportunity for the power read. If I can get enough acceleration with this play, I'm pretty much, this is, this is the exact opposite. I'm never going to hand it to the running back typically. I'm just typically going to keep it with the quarterback. You can see right here. I mean, it just basically leads me right to a hole. As you can see, there's nothing really on that second level, but trying to get outside is not necessarily the move with this run. So if your opponent's thin in the middle, you're going to want to hit them with the, uh, the power read. If, if they're thin out Outside, you're going to end up with a buck sweep. Now, we have that obvious safety blitz again. This is probably best for an opportunity just to hit him with a power base because ultimately, um, you know, this is something where I don't really want to take the chance with the extra animation time. I just want to get up and get five yards on a particular play like that. Here's another play where they're thin outside. Like I said, I could try this. And I, like I said, that guy, the, 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 the guard isn't quite doing the job. And it might be because I'm sprinting so quickly. I'm not really sprinting up his back as I probably should be. We'll try to do a better job of following our guard because ultimately, he's the guy that's really going to lead the daylight you can see right there that's how i want to do it you want to you want to be in the trail of the guard that's really the most important thing because he's the guy that's going to spring into daylight as you can see if i if i, I would not i'm not hitting the guns this time you know what i mean i'm basically just following 70. i want to let 70 seal me and you can see right there boom he takes me and now there's just nothing out here with the exception of one safety if i if i basically could make this one guy miss it's probably a touchdown uh but ultimately he catches me all still a really you know a, a very explosive play to the outside on both directions the thing about a play like this is your opponent's really not going to be able to pre-diagnose what's best to do. I mean, they're, they're going to, they're, there's no real answer for a play like this because you can go explosive run in either direction and have big plays on opposite sides. So up to the point where you decide with the quarterback, they'll never have any idea what to do. Now there is a play that probably should have been put in my audibles earlier. That's the RPO zone peak. This is something that also looks very similar, but if your opponent gets crazy and starts run committing or something like that, you actually have an RPO where you can pass. So let's go and let's pick that on the defensive side. We will continue with random 4-3. And this is also a very good run play. Once again, we can take this outside. We can hand it off. We're still getting, you know, this is more like if there was a stretch run here, this would be more like the stretch run. You get the exact same look, but you're not necessarily getting the pulling blocking. You're just getting solid blocking. This is the type of play that's, that got patched recently. This almost feels like a design run. You don't really get too much time to choose to pass. So it's ultimately just like a, a wide looping, sweeping run. But it's a very good run play at the end of the day. So that's it. That's the video for a run play scheme. If you guys want to see a pass play tomorrow that home runs every single defense in the game and it's a very simple setup hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my vids and more link in the description below Thank you.